Hello, hello, Pisces, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is October 5th, and we're going to be working on the dark truth. I just want to take a moment and say thank you to those of you that have contacted me for a personal reading, a couple's reading. Um, and I also want to thank those of you that have subscribed to the channel and have been here with me since day one. Um, I so appreciate your love and support. And listen, I just want to say thank you for being here. Please, Universal Energies, I need two more messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Okay, we got two. Something here needs to die, Pisces. Please, oh, oh, obviously, I can't take them all, so I'll tell you what. There's four. I will put these there because they were like this, and I will take the ones that were like this, okay? I don't do reversals, so, I mean, none of these are reversed anyway, but just in case. Um, Pisces, something must be put to death, okay? Whatever it is. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to bury it. It is time to put it in the coffin. Okay, it is literally time to depart from it because the only way that some that you that something brand new can begin is if the old dies. Okay. Um, you also have here. Uh, for me, this is working. Uh, or dealing with the queen of pentacles. This is somebody who's successful, loving, generous. However, let me tell you, this woman didn't get up here by love, love, love only. She got here through a lot of work. Some of you worked your way up. And listen, you're moving forward victoriously from a situation. This is being at your highest. When I when I see the the for me, the Six of Wands for me is almost like an awakening, you know, like looking up and like moving up and saying, I'm moving up because I deserve this. It's my, I deserve everything that I've done to be where I am, you know? You also have here the Seven of Swords, dealing with someone who is sneaky, okay? This person is giving you a show because they are hiding shit from you, okay? They're giving you a show. That's what I heard. Giving you a show. Not showing you the real them. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, why is the death here for Pisces? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, Oh, you got three. We're going to take them. Justice. Somebody here was treated unfairly. Okay, somebody here could have been trapped in a situation. Um, I'm going to tell you something. Somebody here walked away. Okay, listen, if somebody walked away from you, put it to rest. Okay, the situation is here to die. The situation is no longer going to be. This person did not give you your share fare. You know, and I let me tell you something. There's a message of truth that may be coming in for some of you. A message of truth. This could also be some kind of divorce papers coming in, which is like a slap in the face for somebody like, oh, shit, like it's finally over. You know, for some of you, this is a legal case, a legal for me. This is marriage, you know, so I feel I cannot help but feel that somebody walked away from their marriage straight into divorce court. Why? Because some message came in that changed the situation. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Please, universal energies. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Okay. Look at this. I want you to see this. Okay. Some of you walked away. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you walked away from the person that you were with and the third party. Okay, some of you, this is why you went to divorce court. You became, for those, I'm talking to some ladies, and I'm keep in mind that the energies may be reversed. I could be talking to a male. However, in this particular relate in this particular relationship, um, you know, this is somebody who has a lot of money, who has worked extremely hard to get to where they are. 
And I cannot help but feel that some of you actually prepared from this situation. And when you discovered, okay, that your other person was with somebody else, you left, literally left, emotionally detached yourself from this and walked straight into divorce court, okay? That is what I feel, okay? And listen, you're moving up. Up, up, you're moving up. You're like, I don't give a fuck about anything. I don't care. I am moving forward. And you're not, you're not being held back. Okay. You're not being held back. This person is going to continue to hide stuff from you. Um, why is this? Why is the six? You know what? I actually said it was the seven, but it's actually the six. Yeah. Stepping forward victoriously. I love that card. It's like, it's like having a spiritual awakening for me. It's like an aha moment. It's time for me to go. Listen, some of you are looking for your happiness, okay? Some of you are moving forward victoriously. Some of you will heal from this situation and you will find some light at the ends of the tunnel with the hermit, okay? The nine of cups, happy, happy, happy. Listen, some of you are looking for your happiness after you have achieved your success with your pentacles you know you put all the all because let me tell you i have some, i have a feeling that some of you were loving to this man you know or this woman and somebody you know this other person that you thought was your significant other put you in a third party and this put you through a lot of stuff you literally they literally woke you up into another person okay they stepped all over you and now that you know all right. Why is the seven of swords here? Seven of swords. Seven of swords. Seven of swords for Pisces. Please universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Seven of swords. Seven of cups. Let me tell you, you're dealing with somebody that's got a lot of options and a lot of possibilities. This person, you know, and this may also be you. You know, however, I cannot help but feel that you are the queen of, you keep in mind, king two, pentacles. And I feel that for some of you, you're, you just turned very independent. And I feel that you are realizing that you were dealing with a sneaky person who had a lot of options. But listen, we all have options, okay? It's not only the other fucking person. The other person is not the only one that's got the options and possibilities. We all have them. It depends. It just depends what we choose because somebody here is still going to be a little lost and confused at the end of this. Why is the seven of cups here? Seven of cups. Seven of cups. You know, maybe this person, this person probably thought that you would never walk away from them. You know, seven of cups. Maybe this person was just too much and said, you know, I know, look at this. This was a third party, okay? Third party. Um, yeah, it was a third party, you know? And this could have, let me tell you something. For some of you, this could have even been a work situation, you know? However, listen, just keep in mind, don't ever give somebody else all the power, you know, don't give somebody else all the power. I want to I want to get one card for this couple. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. These are the two flirty people that were hiding from this Queen of Pentacles that left. Let me get one card for the Queen and the King of Wands. Please universal energies. One, one card. One card for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Why is the queen and the king here? <sighs> Listen, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to you guys that always put people in a third party relationship. The situation will die because it was started out unstable. It will continue to be unstable, okay? This is somebody being backstabbed and betrayed, okay? And this is what your guys are gonna do to each other, you know, because this is how you started. You started sneaking around, lying to people, you know, lying, cheating, the whole nine yards. And let me tell you, for this, 
For this third party who interrupted this marriage, you and your significant other, if you are a cross watcher, I hate to, to say these things, but if you are a cross watcher, listen, when you get into yourself into third party relationships, they come to an end either way. They blow the fuck up. Why? Because listen, they're not meant to last. Okay. They're only meant to be um, a karmic lesson. All right. I'm not even going to finish up anything else because I've already passed my 10 minutes. But thank you so much for being here and take care.